Well, surprise, surprise. What in the world do you think is gonna be in this box today? Actually, I did peek. And I'm gonna to have to say, this box was like a breath of fresh air. You know, the kind that you might get when you go to the ocean and you take that first breath of that fresh ocean air. Or when you're in a field of lavender and you can just inhale that beautiful scent. Or how about the fresh crispness of fall air? That's what I'm talking about. So if you wanna see what's in this box, stick around. Hi everyone, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. I do all sorts of videos on fashion unboxings and shopping hauls, and now a weekly vlog. So if those kind of things sound interesting to you, you may want to consider hitting that red subscribe button below this video so you don't miss out on all the fun fall videos coming your way. So yeah, I'm pretty darn excited. I think we might have a winner here. And what I mean by winner is we may have some good fashions and we have some items that we're gonna get some laughs out of, maybe. You never know lately with Trunk Club. And I've had some doozies, you all know that. But this one, I think my stylist actually listened. Well, here's what happened. I sent some pictures. I messaged them and gave them some specific pictures of some items that I saw on the Nordstrom website. So I thought, okay, if I do that, will they maybe send me something close? <laughs> and they actually did. <laughs> so, so happy that someone is paying attention. And can you tell I'm a little spiffy today? I decided, you know, it's kind of a gray day here and it's a Sunday and I'm not going anywhere really. So why not just get dressed up? Why not get dressed up for the video, right? So in a second, before we get to that try on, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm wearing and the shoes that I'm wearing are one of the items from the trunk. So you yeah, know what? Let's just get straight to the try on. One more thing, like always, if any of you are interested in trying Trunk Club for yourself, because I think they might have all the kinks ironed out about now, all the information that you'll need to know is down in my description box with a link. And if you use that link, you will get $50 to spend in free clothes on your first box and I'll get $50 to spend. So it's a total win-win if that's something that you're interested in. So here's a little taste of my outfit of the day. And I'll give you a little description of the pieces here. You know what's funny? I have all the lights on in my house and this ring light and it still seems dark to me. Kind of one of those days, you know? So we went a little fall here, a little date night looking. I have on the top this beautiful scarf I got about a year ago or so, maybe even two years ago from Trunk Club. Love the colors in here. It goes with so many things that I own and it just adds a pop of color to whatever you're wearing, whether it's jeans or a lot of black like I have on now or even a nice coat. Just adds that nice pop of color for fall. Underneath, we have this beautiful moto jacket that I just got from Trendsend not too long ago. Loving this jacket. Love the fit of it and just the style. And it's cloth. It's a cloth jacket. So to me, I like that much better than the leather. It's a good length and it just looks good with, you know, black jeans like this. And then this top was one that I recently got in, I want to say it was my last trunk. This is by Halogen. And it is really cute because it has this little keyhole effect in the front and it is short sleeve. So you can kind of see that. I was very skeptical about trying red because I've always thought in the past, red is just not a color for me. And it was such a good deal. I got it for like 23 bucks. It was on sale. It was on sale, it went down again. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna keep it and I kind of am digging the red now. So, you know, you never know until you try stuff. That's what these boxes are so good for because it pushes you out of your comfort zone to try on things that you're normally gonna pass up in a store. I would have passed this up any day of the week because it's red. But if I get it in a box, I'm gonna try it on for you guys and I wouldn't have done that before. 
So you start finding things that you would have never known you would have liked until you give it a whirl. Then we've got these jeans. They're pull-on jeans. I think I might have got them from Amazon like a year ago. And they're kind of like leggings or jeggings actually. They're very, they fit really well and I love how skinny they are. And then I'm gonna pan you guys down. You gotta see these boots. That's item number one in this trunk. These cute little boots are by Steve Madden. And they are kind of like a, a faux leather. I'm not even sure if they're real leather. I don't think they are, but they're still cute. And on the side, they have this kind of a slit action going on here. There is just a little bit of uh, elastic, well, not elastic, but stretchable material underneath that area. So it makes it easier to get the boot on because these do not have any zippers. They don't have any zippers to get them on. You just have to slide your foot on in there. And I love the beaded detail around the whole bottom of the boot. It's got a lower heel, which I enjoy. So there's where it looks like from the front. Both sides of the boot, inside and out, have that material, that same material. It makes it a little easier for your feet to slide in there. Oh, well, they're comfy. They're actually pretty comfy. They're kind of cute. They remind me of like combat boots, right? In a way. So you have to have like a spunky outfit for these to go with because they're not going to go with everything. Now, the only thing I'm going to say about these boots is they were a little difficult to get on. If you have any difficulty getting a shoe on, period, a regular shoe, these are not going to be for you. Okay. You have to maneuver your foot into that small little hole there and like shimmy it down in and it's not easy. I mean, I, it took me a hot minute to get them on and I don't have a problem getting shoes on generally. That's the only thing I'm not really sure about these. Other than that, they're pretty darn cute. But you know, being able to get a shoe on is probably like pretty important. So also just a reminder, stay tuned to the end of this video when I do the review, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give you guys all of the brands names and prices of all the items. So, okay, let's see what's next. Okay, now I did ask my stylist team to mail me some black purses, like crossbody purses. I've been looking for something like that. So they sent me two, which I was like, yay. I mean, it wasn't like a mustard purse or brown or whatever, they actually listened. So here's the two that they sent me. All right, I'm gonna show you the maker of this purse. I, I wanna say it's Kurt Geiger, but I could be totally messing that up, okay? So I'm gonna show you so you can see it. Now this purse is a little fancy, okay? Take a look at this. It is a cute little bag. It's got this quilting on the front here and it's kind of cushy. It almost reminds me of like a memory foam top to a bed. <laughs> I mean, like literally, look at this. When you push on it, it's like a memory foam. <laughs> All right, then you've got this cute little chain. Well, it's not really little, is it? It's kind of like a pretty thick chain that you can carry it like this. So it's just, just really kind of tightly. When you open it up, the rest of the chain is inside here. So you can really make the length of this you can really extend, I'm not gonna do it all the way, but you, you get the picture. You can really extend the length of this chain so that you've got more room to wear it as a shoulder bag or maybe even as a crossbody. There's still some more, but it's got that plastic over it, so it's a little bit hard to go through the holes right now. Let me give you a, a little look at the back. So it's quilted on the top, plain on the back there. It's a really nice material, actually. It feels very soft. Now, check this out, okay? Check it out. It has got like some kind of bird head on here. Do you guys see that? It's a bird head <laughs> as a closure. So underneath, well, there's no snap right there. It's on the sides. It's magnetic, so it just kind of clip, you know, clasps shut like that. But I'm like, that's a little fancy, okay? They have a little bird head on there. So interesting, interesting. On the inside of this purse, it is just pretty much a single pocket. It's got a flap in here for cards and stuff, but you're not fitting much in there. I mean, honestly, by the time I get done putting my phone in there, a pair of readers, and uh, my mask, and my little bottle of hand sanitizer, you're about done. Yeah, you're not gonna get a whole lot in this purse. So this is for those fancy occasions that we're like all going out to right now, right, with the COVID. 
So this would have to be put in the closet for a while. You know what I'm talking about? But it's cute. It really is cute. So be interesting to find out how much this is. All right, so let's see what's next. Okay, purse number two. Let's talk about this cute little number right here. This is kind of cute. This was surprising me because it's really got a unique shape. Again, it's a crossbody, or you could probably do a shoulder, you know, having it down the one side there. But I love how unique the shape of that is. So here it is from the side and from the back. It does have a zipper on the back and it's pretty tight back there. You won't be able to fit a phone or anything. I'm talking like maybe some cards, maybe your key. Uh, that's about it. But it's cute, you know, if you like something small just for walking around and you just want the essentials with you. And it's not your typical square purse. It's got a little detail to it. This is by Soul Society. And it's got this cute little tassel on the front there. And let's see, it's got their logo that hangs off the side. Kind of, I'm not really sure about that. Do you see how long it hangs down for such a cute little compact purse? I wanna say I would take this off. And, it, and you can do that because it's on there like a luggage tag. You just kind of basically feed that through the loop and you could take this whole thing off. So when you open it on the inside, same thing. It's like a single pocket on the inside. And of course, cute little inside design there, right? It's got one zipper in the back that you could probably put your moolah, your change, your cards, whatever. And um, again, very much just the essentials are going in this purse. So like a date night or you're going to a fancy or occasion where you need something a little dressier than your normal everyday purse. It's cute, I like the design of it, and I like that it's a little different. All right, let's see what's next. Real quick, before we move on to the next item, we're gonna do some comparisons throughout this video of what I already have compared to what they sent me. And you might wanna tell me, what do you like better? Although, that doesn't, like, if it's mine already, I mean, I can't do anything about it, but you know. <laughs> You might be like, well, you already got that, so don't get the other thing. So, okay, so I just got this purse on Amazon a few weeks ago, actually, and it's like 20 bucks. So I needed a crossbody, I needed a black crossbody, and Trunk sent me a couple. But let me show you what this one is like. So it's got this fancy uh, quilting on the front, which is cute. It's got this little turnkey uh, opener, like, I don't know, closure there, I guess. So you close it and then you turn this and now it's locked. It doesn't have a zipper on the top or anything. Not, then it just opens here. But this is a little bigger. This is definitely bigger than both of those um, are. I can put a little bit more in here even though it's still a small purse. And this is something that I can take to a little bit of a dressier occasion or casual. Like, you know, you're still looking trendy, but it's still casual. So I like this like gold and black uh, chain basically that it's got there. And the top part is leather. Well, probably fake leather, but you know. And here's what it looks like on. So, I mean, for $20, that's not too bad. We're gonna see how much the trunk purses are. But for 20 bucks, I thought that wasn't too bad, right? And, and it, fits, it fits a situation. It gives me a black purse to wear with my black coats and you know does the job i will try to go back and find the link to that amazon purse in case that's something that you want to go check out for yourself all right now we're moving on to coats they sent me two coats i requested them i actually sent the pictures from the Nord nordstrom website so that they would at least send me something similar and to my shock they actually sent me the same ones like how often does that happen that you send Trunk Club pictures, because normally you send them pictures from Nordstrom website and they're like, oh, we don't carry that. Well, or they'll send you something similar, but never that item. And I was like, whoa, you just blew me away here. You sent me the same two coats I asked for. So let's try those on, let's see what's doing there. I have got the first coat on by Bernardo and it is black. And let's start with the length. I really like the length. For me, I love a longer coat in the wintertime because I want as much of me to be covered up without being too crazy long. 
So this to me is a perfect length. It comes up right above the knee and it has a lot of detail going on here. So let's talk about that. It has a lot of this quilting, these little kind of quilted uh, angled looks, which I really like. It is a puffer jacket, so you can fold this whole darn thing up and put it in a bag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There are pockets on both sides, and inside the pockets, it's a really soft, almost like a fleece material in there. I mean, if you don't have gloves on and you have your hands in your pocket, it almost feels like a nice cozy glove on your hand. So love that. Here's a view from the side and the back. I really like how this coat doesn't make you look, look like a big old marshmallow. You know how some winter coats, you put it on and you're just like walking like, you know, it's huge, it makes you look huge. I like how this has got a, a more tapered fit to it and it's a lighter coat. Now, there's some good and there's some bad about that. A lighter coat, meaning, you know, is it gonna keep, I'm wondering, is it gonna keep me as warm in the winter as what I already have? It's nice that it's lighter, but not if I'm gonna be freezing still wearing this kind of coat. On the inside of the sleeves, it's a good length, and on the inside, it has some elastic. That's nice because then when you're wearing gloves and that little elastic part can kind of go over it a little bit to keep the cold out. Now I did read on the tags, sorry about the tags, there's like a million tags hanging from this coat and I read them all before I put this on so I could kind of give you the details about it. What it says is this coat is a hybrid. So it is 40% feathers basically and 60% down. And just to give you a little visual, they gave you a little portion of down in here so you could see what the down looks like. It basically looks like stuffing from a, inside of a pillow or the inside of a dog toy or whatever. So this does not stay like that, okay? It looks like, look at that cute little heart decoration. No, this doesn't stay, that's the down sample. So basically you take that off and that's what you're gonna be left with. But see all the detail in this coat? And actually on the side, do you see how it's got this different material which allows for a lot more stretch under the arm area, which is great. Okay, so the next thing to talk about is the hood. The hood on the inside is that same really soft material that's on the inside of the pockets. So if you put your hood up, it's gonna be so cozy and soft around your face. And it does have these drawstring kind of like little pulls so that you can make the, the hood tighter around your, around your head if you want to. So, all right, I'm gonna do this for you. I don't like really like hoods, but all right, so I can pull this tighter and that way you're gonna kind of protect the wind coming in. And if we zip both of these all the way up, man, look at that. I mean, it really is right under your chin, this inside layer here. I look like I'm totally ready for the snow, right? So, I mean, you're gonna be completely covered you don't even need a scarf. This inner layer becomes your scarf because it's hitting right under my chin. So that's kind of cool. Now, if I unzip this outer layer, you're gonna see that there's an inner part to this jacket. So it doesn't mean it's double thick on the inside. It just is like a nice protector so that it gives you a little bit more warmth in your core area. And if you guys can see this, you can unzip this whole inner layer here. So if I wanted to, see how this, this whole middle section right here, this is almost like, this is almost like a coat dicky. Do you guys remember those? So if any of you have seen the movie uh, Christmas Vacation, I mean, I don't know where you've been if you haven't, because it's a classic, but the, the brother-in-law, can't remember his name right now. Ah, oh, it's gonna come to me, but later. He wears that white sweater to the Christmas party with a black dicky underneath, and it's like, where are you going with that, you know? Anyway, so this reminds me of like a dicky for a coat. <laughs> so you can unzip this whole darn thing. It goes all the way around um, under this part here, but the hood stays on. You cannot zip the hood off, but this whole inside part and this comes out if you want it to. Okay, or you can leave it in and get your just extra layer of warmth, right? I like on this coat how all the hardware is also in black. So your zippers are in black, your little you know pulls are in black, the zippers on the side are in black. 
So everything matches. So now I'm going to show you the old coat that I bought at Nordstrom three or four years ago. And this is the reason why I'm looking for new coats. That thing is worn out. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but the inside is breaking down. By the way, that coat I just took off was a small. And actually, I mean, I still had plenty of room to do this. It was not tight. I could definitely wear a thicker layer under that coat. And surprisingly, it would still be fine. I would go with whatever normal size you, you nor, whatever size you normally wear, and you could still get away with doing some layering underneath that coat. Here is my three or four year old coat. And the funny story to this is, this is a Vince Camuto coat. I had no idea who Vince Camuto was three or four years ago. I just looked at the coat and thought, yeah, I like it. I didn't know who the brand was or the maker was. I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Boy, how times have changed. So I like this coat, right, from the, from the outside. It does look a little bulkier, but not bad, right? This coat is actually navy. And I'm not even sure I really realized that when I bought it. I was thinking it was black, but it can be kind of deceiving, right? And it does have the gold, you know, the gold zippers, the gold hardware, but it does have some of that same kind of quilted look to it. And it does have an inner layer, just like this other coat does. This, but this does not zip out at all. This stays like that. And the collar is kind of this like sweatshirt material that gets pilling on it and stuff. From the outside, it doesn't look too bad, right? I could still get away with wearing it, not a problem. But where it's going south is the inside. I mean, it is just wearing on the inside of the arms. It's already kind of ripped in there. And you're seeing, actually, it's kind of good because I can see what's underneath. Now, this is not downfilled at all. You can see the white material. It almost looks like uh, a thick cotton ball that's all one layer, right, on the inside of that. But here's what the inside of that coat looked like. And it's not too bad, it's just under the arms is breaking down pretty bad. So I don't think enough that I would throw it out, but I don't know, I just kind of thought maybe I should look for a different coat for this winter. And this is okay, this keeps me pretty warm. It's not the warmest thing in the world, but it seems to be okay as far as the, uh, the thickness of it. And this feels maybe a little thicker than that other coat does. Huh, all right. This does say 50% duck down and 50% waterfowl. Uh, okay, interesting. So I don't know, I would have to wear my coat around, well, I know how it feels, but I'd have to wear that other coat around the house for a while to, and in this one to kind of see, if given the same amount of time, how do I feel in that new coat compared to how I would feel in my older coat, like temperature wise. All right, let's take a look at the other coat that Trunk Club sent me. Here's the second Nordstrom coat, and right off the bat, I'm noticing a few differences from the first one they sent me. So number one, this one, the length on it is shorter. The first coat came to right above my knee, so this is a little bit shorter, like probably by two or three inches shorter than the first coat. It definitely feels thinner, even thinner to me than the first one. The zipper detail is in gold. Um, all the little button details, same thing, gold. And when you open this up, it's got a gold zipper on the inside. Now the inside of the pockets are that same cozy, feeling as the other coat. Um, here's a big difference, couple of big differences. No hood on the top. What, what it has is a zipper that you can, I'll take this off and actually show you. This whole kind of thick area on the top here is a hood that's folded up in here. So you can choose to tuck the coat or the hood away like that all the time or on days where maybe you need it. You know, maybe you don't want it most of the time, but you do want some of the time if it's raining or snowing really hard or whatever, then you can unzip this whole uh, hood area and pull out the hood and put it up. It's a thin hood though. It's not gonna, it doesn't have the warmth like the other one does on the inside. And also, to me, this coat makes me feel like it looks a little bit bulkier than the first one. And then also when you unzip this, 
There's no inner layer protection. You know how that other one had like the, the coat dicky? <laughs> this one doesn't have that. And the inside is just a really thin, it just feels really thin. It does have some inside pockets, which, which is actually neat. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a really thin material. I'm really not sure if this would be a good choice uh, for being any warmer than what I already have for sure. Let me show you this hood. So basically, you've got this area here that unzips, okay? I'm not gonna do it all the way because I don't wanna mess with having to fold it back up. But then your hood comes out, and again, it's a thin material. It's, a, it's almost like a, uh, a really thin hood on a rain jacket or something like that. It's not much to it. And then you can fold it back up when you don't want it and into that little collared area and zip it back up. Then you just have a really bulky collar, you know, that kind of goes around your neck like that. And it's not gonna give you as much protection around the neck to keep you warm when the, it, when the wind's blowing because it basically naturally wants to fold down when you're wearing it normally. And what's interesting too is these little strings that are around the neck are basically like what you would see in a sweatshirt. You know, I don't know. I'm not really sure if I'm loving that too much. So that's coat number two. You guys can tell me what you think. Do you think I should entertain that first coat or this one? Or just forget about it and try to patch up or sew or whatever the inside of the coat I already have. Now we're gonna get onto the clothes. I have three tops and a pair of jeans. All right, so let's see what those look like. I have to say, I'm a little surprised right now. When I pulled this out of the bag, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I've been interested in this color lately. This rust color is another new one for me that I never would have picked out for myself in a store, ever. So I've gotten a few rust kind of tops before in previous boxes, and they just weren't the right style of top. But this is kind of cute, I'm telling you. It's like a ribbed, lightweight sweater and I love a v-neck. It looks really good, right? A few buttons here, typical Henley sleeves. And I'm just, I have a pair of high-waisted jeans on, so I'm doing the front tuck in the pocket. I kind of talked about that in a previous video, how, you know, if I tried to tuck it in up here, it's gonna look weird, right? So I'm doing the front tuck in one of the pockets there and that works out perfectly. So if you got a pair of high-waisted jeans, that's the ticket right there. So here it is from the side and the back. I mean, I'm kind of liking the color and I'm liking the fit of this. So it's gonna depend on what the price is, but let's take this out so that you can kind of see how it, how it flows without the, uh, without the front tuck. So let me give you a close up of the ribbing. It's just kind of vertical ribbing throughout. I would say this would be a great layering piece for winter. So I am pleasantly surprised by this. Can you guys believe it? Unbelievable. All right, let's see what top is next. Next top by Treasure and Bond. Anybody uh, recognizing this kind of top from somewhere? <laughs> I just got one in my Moda box that was seriously pretty close to this. Little differences, but I'm telling you, the color is pretty darn close. The dolman action is pretty darn close, but a couple of differences, and right away you can tell the sleeves. There's a lot more room in the, in the end of these sleeves, and the way that it hits, it covers, well, it covers a little bit of my hand. So if I'm walking and doing stuff, it's gonna be kind of in the way a little bit, but it's a lightweight material, and it kind of moves easily, so that's perfect. It does kind of come in a little tighter here. So it's looser under the, under the arms and you know, kind of sags a little bit. <laughs> and then you've got this tightness here, but not too tight. It's not like, oh, it's gonna suck you in. And on the top, it has this ribbing kind of going around the neckline with these little gatherings coming down. So here's the front. Here's what it looks like from the side and the back. Now, guess what? For me, I don't really need this one. This is soft. This is actually softer than the one that I kept. But 
uh, it's a different material. That other one was a lightweight sweater. This is almost feeling like a fleecy, light, lightweight sweatshirt material. So it, it is cute, you know, I'm just, for me, I'm actually glad I kept the other one because I like the arms on it way better than this one. But the color is pretty much spot on with that other one, right? So there it is. Uh, not gonna be keeping this one because I already got the last one. So let's move on to the next thing. So next we have a top by Free People. It is super cozy. I mean, like warm, cozy up with this on in front of the fire and you're all good to go. It's very soft. Now, brown is not my favorite color. I'm just gonna put that out there. It just isn't. Never has been. And I'm not even, not even in this trunk am I growing attractive to the brown. But it's not bad. It is a perfect fall top, really. I mean, this is a perfect fall color if you like brown. So it's got this kind of cowl neck up here and it is kind of that typical free people, very flowy, lots of room going on in there top. So it's got kind of a square bottom, doesn't it? And then you turn to the side, it's got a lot of extra material front to back too, right? Now, this top is a little interesting because in the back, it's like a wrap top in the back. Take a look at this. So you've got this opening here, but you better be careful because it keeps going and going and going. It goes all the way up. So if the wind blows in the wrong way, yeah, you're gonna get that breeze right up on through all the way up to the top. So you wanna wear a cami or something like that under this top because you never know. Wardrobe malfunctions happen, right? And it, it could be you wearing this top and having that happen. So not really sure how I feel about that, but a cami would take care of that problem. So it's okay, it's all right. You know, I like the top, not so much the color. So let me pan down and show you the Ugg booties that they sent me. And then I have one more pair of pants that they actually sent me that we'll go to next. Pretty cute pair of Ugg booties. Here's what they look like from the front. They're a little lower as far as the, um, uh, the height of where they come on the heel. And then on the side, they've got a zipper on the inside. They're this kind of beige-ish brown color. Goes perfectly with this top, doesn't it? And then on the toe, do you see how it's got this brushed toe? So it's a little bit darker on the toe than it is on most of the booty. It's got a low heel, which is nice. I like the detail in the different straps that it has. We take a look of the outside. So that's the inside of the booty. We take a look at the outside of the booty. Now it's got a buckle with the straps there. So they're okay. For me, I don't think I really care for the the height that it comes up on your ankle. I think I'd prefer it a little higher because, you know, it just, I don't know if it looks a little odd wearing it with pants like this, or even if I roll my pants, that that would still kind of be an odd height to do that with. They are cute, you know, very nice if you're looking for this kind of color. They're a very soft, almost feels like suede material. I mean, you know when you get something from Ugg, it's gonna be quality. And they do feel like a very quality, a uh, well-made boot. Okay, so just to give you a little closer of a look there on the side, the heel. I think even the heel has a little bit of that brushed coloring to make it a little bit darker. The outer side, and then here's what the front looks like with the toe, having that little brushed effect to it. The bottom, and then the inside, it doesn't have any kind of like fur lining or anything like that. But they, you know, they, they felt okay as far as comfort goes. Let's try on the last pair of pants. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty excited when I, th when I saw these in my trunk. And I thought, no, those are cute. And I think uh, Janine, I think you might've gotten these jeans as well. I'm pretty sure. And they looked really good on her. I actually requested these because I saw them on her channel and thought, I'm gonna give those a try. So the thing is, I need to stay clear for me from wit and wisdom and I keep trying them and I'm not learning. But for me, I get a good amount of gapping in the back. If I sit down, I mean, you're gonna get a show, all right? I don't wanna give a show. So this is not good for me. Even if I size down, it's not that the problem is that there's, 
it feels like the waist is too big all the way around. It's just in that back area. So I must have a back that goes like, boop, like a big old dip in the middle of the inside of my back. I don't know. That seems to be a problem with me for different brands, not all brands, because I'll, I have certain brands that fit me like a glove. They're perfect. I don't need to wear a belt. I don't need to do alterations. They fit perfectly. So I just need to know for me to stay away from the darn wit and wisdom, okay? But doesn't mean they're a bad brand. They could fit you perfectly. And I do think that these are a really cute pair of camo pants. They are mid-rise. So there's a little problem there for me too because all my stuff is overflowing the top. I haven't gotten to the point where I've lost enough weight where there isn't stuff here to be held back because there still is. So I need to stick with the high-waisted for now until I can lose all the quarantine weight. No additional zipper detail or anything like that. And here's the back. So they're cute, you know, they're very cute. And if you don't have a problem with this kind of jean, the wit and wisdom, they may be for you. Let me show you what I do have. So I looked in my closet and I have a pair of camo pants. Now they are darker, right? They're a darker coloring than the ones that I have on now, but they're pretty darn close. These were by Democracy. They were from Stitch Fix. And they've been in my closet unworn for a little while because uh, the COVID came. And uh, I feel like I, I should do like a commercial right now. The COVID came and these jeans just didn't fit me anymore because I started boredom eating, drinking too much wine. And before you know it, these pants didn't fit anymore. <laughs> so I do like these pants a lot. And actually I just tried them on and praise Jesus, they fit but they're mid-rise so i got the stuff coming over the side still and they are tight they're not so tight that i can't sit down but i'm gonna get back into these pants someday lord willing i will get back into these pants because i really do like them and i like the different detail they've got the zipper detail and stuff on them these do not and they fit me well and i didn't have the gapping problems but the covid took took these jeans away from me. <laughs> so one day I will get back into them and I have really been a little nervous. I have not wanted to try them on because I was like, they're not gonna fit. I'm gonna get depressed and you know, it's just all, it's all bad. I know what I've done. I've been a bad girl with the eating and the drinking of wine and stuff, you know, earlier in the spring and summer. So I didn't want to try them on, but you know what? I'm glad I did today because they do fit. I can get them zipped. I could, I could walk around in them. I could sit, but they might get, you know, they might push in too much in that gut and then I can't wear a tight top. Mm -mm, that's not happening because you're just going to get all kinds of stuff going everywhere. So they'll be waiting for me when I'm ready. I'm getting there. I'm not there yet though. Okay, after all those shenanigans, let me gather these, my price sheet, and we'll go over uh, the different items and how much they are and all that good baloney. And then I will kind of give you uh, a feel for what are the top things in my mind at the moment that I'm thinking could be, could be yeses. We've got the UGG Wilma Waterproof Booty. These are in the color Coffee Ground Suede. That makes sense to me if you like a light roast. These are $140. How about the Wit and Wisdom Camo Pants? Let's check these out. These are the Absolution Camo High Waist No Way. Uh-uh, I'm not believing it. If they wanna tell me that this is high waist, I mean, the mid waist must be getting lower nowadays, okay? Because this, to me, was a mid waist for sure. Okay, well, that's what it says. High waist, ankle, skinny pants. Yeah. Uh, in size six, deep sage is a color for $68. That's not a bad price, but you know, I've got the ones I'm hoping to fit back into. Oh, these are mine. <laughs> Here's the pants. <laughs> There's the pants. I'm pointing to these and these are mine. No, we got them on. Where is my brain? Moving on. This is the Rib Henley Sweater by Halogen. 
and it is Rust Marshalls is the color, $69. Uh, hmm, don't know about that. I mean, I liked it, but I'm not really sure I wanna spend $70 for a Henley. I, I just, no, I'm thinking no. Treasure and Bond, teal shirt here. Actually, it's a cozy ribbed raglan sleeve top, $45, that was a small. So y'all know what I think about this. I actually have one, so this is gonna be a no. The black Steve Madden booty. Let's see what they have to say about these. These are the Gale Chelsea boot in black. They were $130, they're on sale right now for 90. Now these were really cute, but really hard to get on. So these are gonna be a no for me. Black crossbody purse with your own built-in bird right there. You got a bird with you all the time. This is a mini Kensington quilted leather crossbody bag. And I mean quilted because remember it was like the memory foam by Kurt Geiger, London, $165. Really? Okay. I mean, it does feel pretty quality and the chain is quality and you know, you got the bird, you got to pay for the bird. Uh, that's going to be a no for me. Soul Society, cute little crossbody purse. This was a laser faux leather crossbody bag and in black for 55. Now, I mean, I don't think that's a bad price, uh, you know, but, and it is a cute shape. So it's a maybe. This is the first Bernardo coat that I had on that had the inside portion to it. There's two on here and I'm not seeing the name of this on the tag. I'm gonna assume that the longer one is gonna be more money than the shorter one, so that's how I'm gonna play it. It's down and Prima Loft Walker jacket, and it's black, $180. So this one, and then this one with the gold detail on it and the no, the, the packable hood, basically, that is, that is the down and Prima Loft Walker jacket. They're both called the same thing. This is $170. See how I, why I'm confused? They're both called the exact same thing. They're both by the same brand, it, except that one is $10 less than the other. I'm definitely gonna assume this is a $10 less one because it's shorter. It doesn't have a big old nice fleece lined hood and it doesn't have the inner part to it. So that's what I'm gonna assume here. All right, you guys, so you need to tell me if you saw anything in here you, you thought was worth keeping. Uh, let me know down in the comment section. I appreciate that. And get ready because the next video I have coming out, Stitch Fix. Unless there's some kind of hiccup in the filming because I have, there's, there's certain parts that have to be filmed and they have to be done differently. I can't do them by myself. So I have to, I have to get someone to help me out. So unless there's a hitch in that, uh, it's gonna be the next video you're gonna see. And you're not gonna wanna miss out on that one. It's gonna be a fun one. So until I see you guys next time, I hope that you're having a great day and a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.